Hi and welcome to the Calculus 3 Tutor and in this section we're going to continue talking about the concept that we started talking about several sections ago which was the partial derivatives and the directional derivative and here we're going to culminate in a very very important very useful section of this entire course and that is the concept of the gradient okay so when you're studying this stuff for the first time it's difficult sometimes to keep straight in your head the differences between some of the things we're talking about so I'm going to do a little bit of recap here and then we're going to go into the gradient which at first glance might seem like we've already covered it but in fact it's a little bit different than everything we've done so far okay so the first thing you need to remember is uh, we talked about the concept of a partial derivative of a multivariable function okay and that just means you take a partial along x or a partial along y or if it's a 3d function a partial along z and that just means you're finding the derivative in those directions how the function changes as you move along x how the function changes as you move along y how the function changes with respect to z that's what the partial derivative is then we introduce the concept of the directional derivative which is sort of a generalization of that whole thing and what that is is you want to take the partial derivative of a function in any arbitrary direction you want maybe I want to know how fast the function changes in that direction maybe I want to find out how far how fast it changes if I look that direction and we derive the formulas and we use the formulas for the directional derivative and really all we were doing was taking the partial derivatives and mixing them according to the vector direction we cared about and weighting them appropriately according to the unit vector that we cared about which we called a so the directional derivative was noted d sub a okay that's what we've learned so far uh, what we're going to do in this section is we're going to introduce our first vector operator okay which is going to be a vector operator I'll show you what it looks like it's going to operate on a function and it's going to return a vector okay so we have some 3d function sitting out before us it's a function of x and y and and you could draw a, a representation on a coordinate system okay you plug in uh, or you apply I should say you apply the vector operator called the gradient to it and basically what it's going to return in the end of the day it's going to return the uh, it's going to return a vector the direction that that vector points the direction that that vector points is going to always be the direction that the function is increasing most rapidly okay that's very important okay so you know like we said before you can take the partial along x and the partial along y and you could take the partial in the arbitrary a direction and figure out how fast the function is changing in any of those directions okay but when you apply the gradient operator think about what the term gradient means I mean it almost sort of sounds like you're trying to figure out the slope of something right and that's exactly what it is you're going to operate on the function and whatever vector you get back from that operation is always always going to point in the exact direction of maximum slope okay so you have this sort of 3d function sitting out in front of you at any given point on the surface depending on which way you look the function may be sloping up or down it may be increasing or decreasing okay and what the vector operator gradient does is it always points the vector that it returns always points in the direction of maximum incre uh, increasing uh, ness of the function and the length of the vector returned by the gradient operator uh, is actually the value of the the rate of change at that point so you get the direction and you get the magnitude of the rate of change okay so we're gonna go ahead and work some things here the the gradient operator is used everywhere in engineering and advanced math so it is a very important operator it's definitely one of the most important things in the class okay so let's go ahead and just sort of write down what I talked about a little bit just a little bit of review you remember uh, partial of X with respect to X uh, this is just what we call the partial derivative okay and what we said this was was the rate of change triangle means change rate of change of f of x y which let's say it's a it's a, a function of two variables in the x direction so here I'm looking as I go back and forth along x what is the rate of change of this function only looking in the x direction likewise we define the partial with respect to y which we denoted as f sub y and that was the rate of change of the function that we're talking about the uh, function of two variables but now we're talking about in the y direction the y direction okay and then that was sec several sections ago and then we defined the directional derivative okay which was along some vector a the directional derivative of f in the direction of a which is an arbitrary direction the reason I've got a carrot on top of the a is because remember we always had to use a um, we always had to use a, a unit vector to describe the direction that we cared about.